Mm. What's up, though? Guess who's back? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna get straight to the point. We're gonna be making a beat today. But what I'm gonna focus on is the bass. Right? The bass kicks and the bass, whatever. The bass drums and all that stuff. Because I've been getting so many questions. Everyone's asking me, oh, show us how to make that bass. Because I understand you can do all the instruments and sounds, but if you don't get the bass right, the tune's never gonna. <clears throat> it's a bit late, as you can see. But just get into it, though. Yeah, the dig. Alright, let's do this. I'm eating right now. I ain't eating all day, man. I'm starving. Mm. Some rice and chicken. Mm. Water. Dessert. <laughs> I'm getting fat now, you know what I mean? But you lot can't even tell me. Alright, let's load let's load this up. Mm. I shouldn't be eating at this time, right? Fuck that shit though. Shit. What's this? Alright, cool. Um, there was a project I was working on that I wanted to do this for. I called it base something. Bear with me a minute. Always organize your files. Always be organized. Base monster. This is what I want to work on. Mm. Ah, right, cool. I already have um. This one I had. I got that loop right. It's not a loop. I played it in earlier. But this what happened. You have something like that, and you want to put in that hard knocking bass. There are two components of putting in basses. There's the eight to weight, which is just the doom, the banging, and then there's a hard bass. But also sometimes you could use the sub bass, which is just like the underneath of the basses. You know what I mean? That it's almost you don't hear it if you have normal speakers you might not hear the sub bass but you have the subwoofers you can hear the under you know when you hear that bass and it goes like Boom. yeah it makes you shake up and all that shit that's a sub bass okay quick quick lessons let's get into, right into this motherfucker i know i'm talking too much but i need to talk for you to understand for you to interact okay let's make things happen don't ask me what I'm doing now. Go check my um, Ultra Beat tutorial. If you've not checked out my Ultra Beat tutorial, everything I'm going to do now, you're going to be lost. I promise you. So check out my Ultra Beat tutorial. I don't know what, um, which one. I don't know what episode it was. I make all my jams in Ultra Beat. Okay? So now I'm opening up an Ultra Beat, and by default, all the channels are empty. As you can see, there's nothing. You, if you open up yours now, it's gonna have things in them. If you open up your Ultra Beat now, it's gonna have things in them. I explained to guys how to get an empty Ultra Beat, so go learn how to do that. Okay, and that's the first thing we do is you need to have a drum pack that's got these um, drum pack that's got these um, types of drums. I recommend going on this website again. Let me show you the website. 
W just go into Google and type in free drum kits with a Z. Click on this drum kit, click on there. When it loads up, just type tip simply type in trap kits. You know? And um yeah. Actually, let me tell you want to type in that I really recommend. Lex Lugo. He's got a kit on here that is amazing. The first one, new Lex Lugo kit. Okay, click on that and download it. Alright? Okay, and when it downloads to your computer, save it somewhere that you will be able to access it desktop or a place where you keep all your drum kits so this is how you do it yeah this tutorial is not for people that are beginners this is for people who already know how to put in the drum kits and all this stuff but just don't know how to get that warm thunder with thunder <clears throat> all right if you think i'm talking too much get off my shit get my get off my tutorials i can't help myself i swear i go vulgar tongue but i help motherfucker you know what i'm saying so and i do it our way my fans know what i'm talking about we do it our way we be cussing we be talking shit we be talking that shit my nigga yeah but we be learning i'm not gonna give you all this bullshit about waves and frequencies and oh i'm fuck that shit i'm gonna give it to you how a real nigga learn this shit i just look i don't know now about these waves and shit and all the niggas cutting a frequency here and fuck all that shit. We just do it till that shit sounds good and knocks in the motherfucking speakers. What's up? <laughs> nah, let me not talk shit though. I'm a bit drunk tonight anyway. Okay. Now for me, I keep my um drums in this folder. You're not gonna have these folders because these are actual drum banks that I've collected over the years. All my different kits. Like if I click on my kits section, you're not gonna get all these kits, Brick Squad kit. These don't come with logic. I've downloaded them, most of them off that free web the website I showed you for free drum kits. Free drum kits with the Z. Go on there, there's so many drum kits, different types. But what we're gonna do today is I got the Lex Luger kit. Where is it? Here, yeah, this one. Okay, you see, this is how the Lex Luger kit comes. It comes with Whatever that bullshit is. Basses, chants, claps and snares, effects, hats, kicks. The basses means the bass kicks. And kicks means the hard kick. The hard kick I was telling you about. The hard kick just knocks like doo, 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 doo. It's just hard. But the bass kick has got the bass in it. So when you put the hard and the bass kick together, it's what creates that knock. Okay, so what we're going to do is put in a hard kick first. Um, as I've said before you're not going to understand this if you know watch my ultra beat tutorial or if you do not know how to use the ultra beat so now what we're going to do is we're going to drag one of the kicks into one of the samples for ultra beat let me explain ultra beat quickly basically all these samples you see are mapped to your actual keyboard so if I play those keys on the keyboard as you can see shit why am I keyboard reading okay my keyboard's reading now so as you, as you can see I'm playing my keyboard and all the notes are being read so if I put a sample in there in the first in C1 it's gonna play if I put a sum if I click on C2 here it's empty you see so if I drag another different sample in C2, it's gonna, you see, I've got two different kicks. And then I can even on the black note, it's empty. I can drag in another sample. So, so, so that's how it works. It's, you simply click on there, you drag in a sample, click here, drag in another sample, drag in another sample. Do, 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 do. So you can literally have your own, a full drum kit. In, in this session and then if when you want you can come and save it I've got some saved kits do you know what I mean let me just 
load up a, a little kit that I saved a while ago use just to show you what I mean see that that's a saved kit but anyway let me go back to my plain sample yeah what you do is whatever don't worry about that <laughs> but yeah what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to drag in uh, one of the hard kicks in the Lex Luger kit and we've got it here like I like kick 17 it's just got that something about it that just says to me I love you Joby I love you okay and then what we want to do is don't make it too complicated listen to the sample like just hop in your head how you want how you want how you want the, the bass kick to go or how you want the kick to go in my head I'm thinking something like Doom, cha, doom, doom, cha, doom, doom, cha, doom, doom, cha, doom, flex, uh, 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 doom, cha, doom. And now you know what I can do now? I can play it in. Simply like. it's a loop it's going to repeat but what I say to people all the time if the kick is conflicting with your sounds yeah like right now my sound my sound is too loud for the kick so the kick doesn't sound as popping as hard as it should sound so what we do usually I would have like I would have probably done all the choirs and effects and the brasses and, and there'll be so many sounds so what I will do literally the whole project I'll turn it down yeah and then I come and bring the kick back to zero so that means now the a whole project sounds low the whole I mean not low the whole project is down but the kick is at the same same level it was at without distorting so now that means is it still gonna sound knocking but it's just gonna sound like everything's turned up because bear in mind if you turn everything down you can turn stuff up on the mixer you know what i mean you can start to stand stuff up on your sound card or whatever and when you're finished making the whole project you can master it and then bring, bring back all the loudness and the air back into the song do you know what i mean so never when you're working with kicks and basses remember this never ever turn things up with kicks and basses you always turn things down, not up. If if you put in your kick and your bass and st stuff it, and it starts distorting, don't think, oh shit, I want it to be loud. What you do, bring down the whole project together and then slightly turn up your kicks. Just a tiny bit to a point where it's not distorting. And then the whole project will sound more lively. So I'm gonna show you what I mean, hear this. And quantize guys when you're dealing with kicks yeah quantize a quick way to quantize is you select all of the samples and press Q and what quantize is it basically means to snap these to the nearest bar so that so that it doesn't sound off beat so I'm gonna press Q now watch what happens you see that and save so now it's in place Hey, 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 let me eat some more. Mm, 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 mm. Of course, this is not the bass kick. I'm just kicking and finish it. What we want to do with a kick like this, though, is the EQ. This is another important part. A lot of you guys wanted to land the EQ in. So what you do with the EQ, this is called a high end. Cut out that high end on the hard kick. 
and then cut out a bit of the low end yeah the low end means the basic part the reason we're doing taking out the base the little bit of the basic part of the kick is so that we can give the actual base that's what, that we're gonna have air to breathe enough space you know what I mean and we can at the low end so that the instruments which are more thin than all that they have their own air to breathe but we're going to emphasize the hardness of the kick and that hardness of the kick is usually around here I'm not gonna I'm gonna use this one rise bitch but we're gonna make it a bit more narrower because we're dealing with them um, so what this is gonna do is just gonna give us a popping kick see what I'm doing with my kicks I am not compressing them and putting mad effects on them they're playing I'm just using the EQ just using EQ to have that banging kick now listen to the difference hear the difference the popping minus 8 hear that But when I put that cue in, it sounds like, mmm, 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 yeah, uh, mmm, 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 woo, woo. And then, that's the hard kick. Also remember, this part, this part, um, is just your attack, release, decay, and sustain. This is what this box is. Remember the attack is on zero because I wanted to kick and attack straight away. But now and open another ultra beat. And now we're gonna be dealing with the bass. Automatically. I'm changing the attack because I don't want the bass kick to kick in hard as well like doom doom with a kick I want it to come in softly you know what I mean you know like the hard kick's got the rough edges you know what I mean but it's the bass kick it's got more of the softness so together with the hardness and the softness is just gonna create a sweet bassy kick yeah don't make the attack too soft like that because it'll just be like doom that's how it's gonna sound yeah you just give it enough to roll off and just whew, be comfortable so now we're going to I was this and okay when you're dealing with bass kicks in the ultra beat remember as I said your ultra beat is not gonna look like mine it's not gonna be empty it's gonna have no um thing in here you need to go on YouTube and learn how to initialize these things if you watch my um, YouTube tutorial, the Ultra Beat explains how you do this. And after you've done one of these and you've emptied all of them, save it so that every time you want to use the Ultra Beat, you can just drag samples in it. Ultra Beat just makes things so easy. But anyway, because I'm dealing with a bass and we're gonna have to go up and down in pitch, yeah, you can you can go up and down in pitch in the Ultra Beat. So what you have to do is you have to select the last note. Because obviously after the last note, as you can see, it doesn't go on any further than this. Yeah? So, when you select the last note and put a sample in the last note, anything you play further down on that keyboard will play that last note, but it will go up in pitch. Do you get what I'm saying? It will go up in pitch. So, um, let's, let me show you an example. Bass. I've got this bass now. That's what it sounds like. As you can see, you see what I did here? Yeah, because I did it for the sample, this is a whole different, this, it, it, this is a whole different key. So this is not touched. So I should have done it in here. That's, a, that's the good thing about Ultra Beat is when you click, when you click on a key, all these effects are only working for that one key. If I click on this key, all these effects are for this key. So if I turn on the volume on this key, if I turn on the volume right now, it will not affect this key. Let me show you, look. 
turn on the volume, turn on the volume, turn on this volume as well. If I click on this key, it's got its own volume. So that's the good thing because you have different things for samples in the same instrument and you can edit each of them individually. That's why Ultrabeat is an amazing plugin. You guys should learn more about this plugin and use it more. And almost so probably use the EX24. But but EX24 when you when you when you um edit this the settings it's doing the settings for all the samples that you put in. But this one allows you to individually tune your samples. If you want to add in a bit of noise or LFOs individually for each sample you can do that. Okay, this is turning into um, a tutorial for Ultra Beat. But as you've seen, I've dragged in a sample and it's gonna be on C3 on a keyboard because it shows here, you see, C3. Actually, you probably show C3 for all of them. C3 is just the root key. Okay, you see C3, that's why it's, if I go, if I press any note, any notes higher on the keyboard, this is what happens. Do you understand? But any note, any note before this note, if I put a key, if I put a sample in here, it's only gonna play on this note. Below that, it's not gonna play. Ooh, what is this? Bass drop nine, motherfucking yes, yes, bitch, yes. That's what we're gonna use. So, what I will do now is. I've already got my bass kick and it's banging. So, what, so what, and I've got my hard kick playing. So what I would do is press option on the keypad and duplicate this and bring it down here. Now, if I play this, you're not gonna hear any sound. You know why? Because it's playing on the first key. And as you remember, we didn't put, we did not put no sample in here. Even though it shows like there's a sample, this this is a little problem that um, Logic 10 has. Even though there's not a sample in here, once you put a sample, there's an image for a sample. There's no. Remember, we did not put no sample. Only touched it there. The only samples we put are in here and in here. Yeah. So, and remember what key is this? I told you C3. So what we're going to do is if I drag this up to C3, you're going to hear it. See? There you go, and um, actually, yeah, we did. We did not need no patch and load the sample. I was just showing you an example. Let's leave this plain. So basically, now we have a bass kick, we have a hard kick, and we have that that's that instrument playing. So it's like. It's knocking right, but it's not smooth and crisp how we like it. So what we know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna show you how to EQ the bass. We don't need the ultra beat. As I said in the last sample, we don't want them hitting hard together like that because the hard kick is doing all the hard hitting. That's why it's the hard kick. So we roll off the bass just a little bit, just to give a bit of the smoothness. Just a little roll off like mm, like hey bitch like drop top yeah that's the first thing we do we um think the attack so that when it kicks in it's just a bit more but then again the way they're hitting together the bass has got a bit of the it's, it's got a bit of excess luggage I call it on it so on the bass as well, to make space for the instruments, we'll just trim it as well. And all this depends on, on the bass you use. You don't have to use the same bass, you can use different basses, right? And then, as you remember guys, we turned down 
the base the, um, the low end in the hard kick so what are we gonna do in the base kick because we want this motherfucker to bang we're turning this motherfucker up and another trick the middle part where the hard kick hits the hardest because that's where it hits hard we just turn it down you know what I mean we give we give it a little valley so now we have we have two EQs look at the difference yeah we have two EQs this is the EQ let me just do this quickly so I can show you guys this is the EQ for the bass so basically we're just doing the set the, the opposite so where that where that where, where that kick is hitting we want the kick to hit you know you see that but make sure you don't turn down too much because you might start cutting out the bass just be careful man we don't want to lose the motherfucking bass man it's all about the bass man g yeah so now that means the bass is hitting deep and hard yeah but it's soft it's you, it's, it's almost it's like you have a skinny child but you're giving it a nice big warm heart, heart you know what i mean and this is how you create your basis so after you've done this the next obvious thing is just the levels right you just listen to them usually maybe give the bass a bit turn down the bass just a, a bit a bit lower than the hard kick because you want the hard kick to hit harder you just want the bass kick to just give it the hug and on top of that because you've turned up you've you increased up um the low frequency which is the low end of the bass you know what i mean so now it's gonna sound hard like you know what i'm saying hear that That's the most important lesson. Now what I'm gonna teach you next is the simple little things you need to keep in mind when you do this type of. First of all, the gate. Now, if you can hear this bass, when it goes to the when it goes to the to doom, there's a bit of fighting for frequency because it's like it's like a relay race yeah we have to give the button to the next person but it's like it's giving the per button but it's still running with it what we want the bass to do is to come give the button and the next person runs so i'm talking in terms of the notes it's like the notes are sitting on top of each other and just and when you have so many instruments in one of these trap beats or that itself beats things like that will quickly start making the frequency start um what's the word i always forget this word that fuzzy sound you know what i mean yeah distorting that's why it is so this is the trick simple trick turn on the gate the all the gate does is when you take your hand off the sample, it stops playing straight away. See, look, I'm holding it down. It plays to the end. I tap it a little bit. See that? So now this sample will only play as long as it's the sample will only play as long as it's held down. So so no more notes overlapping each other. And if you feel like some of the spaces are too much for you, you do not have to go and physically fill them in. I know it can be long. It's a very, very long process. What you do, select all of the notes together, right click. Yeah? They go to trim note ends to following notes, false legato. That's what you do, one button. Right click, come to trim notes, 
and it does it for you. So now you have a base running. What, but you might what you want to do is just zoom in a little bit more, and you see it's even left a little gap for you. But just create a just extra bit more, a little, a little bit more gap, just to give it space to breathe before the next note. So now when you play them together, it's less distortion and it's more clearer. Like. Remember Tan. Strapped up by rolling up, no need to mm. mm. Last room. Usually when you get bass when you get this music as I said it's fine if you want to go up an octave because I can easily go you know what I mean like but for those who have proper musical ears you can tell that this bass is not in timing. So before we do all that, there's one thing that is really important. Yeah, let me take it this not back down to where it is. Every time you do this, make sure you come here, select the, the, the root note. Because this just means it's that the first this key is on C3. All you're doing is move down the key. So you see that C3. You click on it and you just type in C space 2. I'm not going to start explaining it because if I do explain it, yeah, it's just going to sound a bit confusing. But I'll just show you. See, I've typed in C2. I've just basically moved down the root key down. So now the bass is going to sound deeper like. But don't worry about that. The reason I've done that yeah it's basically you see how the c3 was the root key where it starts with the normal keywords what i've done is i've moved it up because so if you bring down to c2 that means you've brought down the, the project so that means it starts from one key up so which is now c4 the reason i've done that is sometimes you know you know when you join the when you have the basses you might want to go doom, 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 doom. you might want to go lower now, if you, if when it starts at C3, if I go anywhere lower, it will obviously not play. You know what I mean? Let me take you back to how it was originally so I can show you properly. It was at, C, it was at C3 before. Yeah? It was at C3 before. Obviously now it's higher because I bring it down C3. So now if I bring it at C3, if I want to play any note scene, da 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 da, and bring this one lower, like two. This note is not playing because it's it's trying to play a note in the ultra beat you know what i mean this note is trying to play that note in the ultra beat do you understand so this is why i brought it up one sample and then here i made the root note start a sample down so essentially it's now it's still the same sample at C4. What? Oh, I did it on the wrong note. See what I'm saying? See? So now if you want to bring one down, it works. If you want to take your one up, it works. So, so all I've done is I brought the main sample and I just put it in the middle, basically. So now, anyone with musical ears can tell that this bass is not in the right um key. So you just start looking for the key the bass the song's in. It might be still. Doom, 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 doom. I mean I want 
to make it deeper. can do is just bring up the transpose here to 12 if you know what this is you know if you don't I can't explain it all because I've been talking for like 35 minutes or oh, is that sure okay so you can find the right key and then bring it back down That's the right key. I was, I was just I was just doing that to make sure. Yo, Donna. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Let's see how it sounds now. So basically, that's how you make the bass, you know what I mean? And then after this, you might start. Let me show you the extent of how good Ultra Beat is. You can start doing things like the chants. And it's got a sequence, so you can do things like. Once you have it in, you just click pattern. Sorry, you click pattern and drag it in here. Duplicate it and obviously turn it off so that it doesn't play in here and here at the same time. Add in a little delay so it gives it hey hey. Put a bit of reverb. Simple things, guys. You know. Obviously, it's too loud. Turn it down. Join this together. not too sure about the way this drum pattern goes but this is just for tutorial purposes I'll probably play it around with it more you know what I mean you can do things like Show niggas being amateurs up in this motherfucker. We really know what we don't. I'm this. I'm this. These are the hard kicks, by the way. This is the hard kicks.
I might be quant to quantize this to one to all. should be you know quick things I want to show you we can layer instruments as well so I'm gonna put in a snare and a clap together at 9 and 25 Drag it in again. And what else you could do is hi-hats makes this thing makes things so easy for you guys you get a hi-hat that you like just fill up all the samples you shouldn't do that on yours by the way and instead of making the pattern because this is what's gonna happen when you play it together you, t you have to turn it on though But you might want that. T -t 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 -t. So what you could do is make it one eight on the pattern. So now the resolution, what it was gonna play is. And what you could do is you could make some hit harder. drag it in simple as that and turn it off here and then you could just highlight all these make them small because remember you have not pressed the gate so it's the whole gonna place it doesn't matter how long it is and you could just fuck around with just a few of them you know maybe maybe you could be like at every fourth you wanted to do that the fourth one to do that and at the eighth you want you to do that you know obviously you don't need to go all the way just to do that you can just do that and copy and paste it but so you just quickly you, you already have something acceptable like drums really this this co today's concentration has not been on the instruments it's been more for the drums obviously the hi-hats are too strong bring them down you know 
basically the tutorial is finished right now you can really stop it right now but I just feel like I'm selling you guys short I just want to give you a bit more you know so oh yeah guys basically if you all know logic pro x and you've been using logic pro 9 you cannot get silent in logic pro x a way to get it is um buying this plugin called 32 lives it allows you to use all your 32 bit plugins in logic pro x if you want to know how it works go on youtube there's a tutorial for that i'm not gonna go through all that okay so let me just I just want to add on a bit more on this. To repeat it because I can just loop it that's how you loop you drag it from the top by the way guys duplicated the channel so I'm just gonna use the same so for these traps you need some weird sounds you know what I mean whatever comes to your head Just to rock with it, you know what I mean? Like maybe turn this down a little bit. repetitive one
forgot. Um, when it comes to drums as well, another important thing when you're doing this that it, um type of beats. Let me get a plain one quickly before my time runs out. I'm never. I'm. Pr I'm probably gonna give you guys this project, cause I really, really wanna hear what you guys come up with. I don't wanna do too much for you. You know what I mean? Um. You usually need these. goes what I've um got for you guys um the main sounds might not be in you when you get the pro pro when you get unless you're silent you're probably gonna get the project like this Even now, it's too damn loud. So this was telling you about, guys. You turn it down. Mm. I promise you, when you guys get this, it's gonna be so banging. You're gonna be like, yo, Joby, that shit bangs. You know, it's all about. Where's the A? Too loud, nigga. But what I might just do, just to be nice, is I might bounce these off as um audios, so that when you get it, you can just, you know what I mean? Because you know, this is not a bad sound. No, I mean. You know, you know, you know how the story goes. so far 54 minutes yeah I, I was hoping to go for the hour I'm sorry guys I'm not being as energetic today but I hope you guys enjoyed and this is the best I can do for you it's not no it's not the best but you know basically from now on every um every tutorial that I give I'll give out the free project as well you know what I mean because I'm not really in this for money or whatever. I'm just I'm just doing this so that you guys can learn. You know what I mean? And I'm and I'm and I'm guessing the best way for you guys to learn is if you give them proper help, you know what I mean? Like people come in do tutorials and hide their plugins and I'm not even gonna lie, I, I probably got one of the biggest list of plugins I know. You know what I mean when it comes to instruments. Look at all these. Applied Q sticks. Audio realism, camera audio, the but IK media, Alta Media, Philharmonic, Sample Tank, some um Korg, all these, Learner Digital, Lin Plugs, all of them, Music Club, Native Instruments, all of them, Novation, Nexus, Slayer, Vanguard, Rob Paper, Albino, all these are plugins I've got Sonic, the the but 
June. Look, turn to lecture, future bags, gladiator, rave, blaster. E. Diva. I've got some plugins, guys. Will never, you guys will never ever come across stuff like this. You know what I mean? Like, you look at this plugin and you're like, I ain't never seen that before. Podolsky is called. You know what I mean? Like, I've got so many plugins. Like, let me show you some shit. That's not even the most fucked up. The most fucked up plugin I've got, I think, is. Is it Diva? There's one plugin I've got now. Diva's cool. Diva's right. This is really good for um, all that West Coast type of music. You know what I mean? Like all that DJ Master type of stuff. But there's one plugin I've got. I'm trying to remember the name, yo. It's not Zebra. Is it Zebra? No. See what I'm saying? <laughs> and you guys always asking me for the one blue plugin. You know what I mean? I'm telling you, plugins don't really matter. There's so many different plugins. You can just go on the internet and find them. Do you know what I mean? Um, I just want to show you that fucked up plugin that just has my head spinning like a motherfucker. Mm, what's it called, yo? Addictive drums. That's really good for. Um, it's really good for. If you want real drums, get addictive drums. It basically emulates a real drum kit. But I'm trying to find a drum that that drum. I'm trying to find a plugin for you guys. It's around here. Sugar bites. The here we go. Yeah, this motherfucker is fucked up. This shit here. Look. If I show you the way um the thing works, the preset. Look at the way the way preset works. <laughs> and now I'm gonna get a million people asking me for this one plugin. Boy, I go find the shit yourself, man. I pay for all my plugins. I go into the websites and buy them. Do you know what I mean? So stop asking me questions. In previous videos I've showed guys, there's a website called Mag Magsi. Right, see? Mag C. You click on this website. You go to audio software and there's tons and tons of see you can of of software for Mac that you can download. All these uh, millions thousands man. You can download nearly every software here. Or if you know how to use torrents get onto that but yeah that's this is what we got now while we're here i just want to show you a lot of some of my music here this is what i want to leave you guys with oh look why not plug a little something something since you guys don't listen to my music you just want to take notes and tutorials and you can't support your boy i'm so tired guys no more no energy like i usually do but listen to this tune though i know you guys are gonna like it though because you niggas are real nerds real 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 niggas okay i i done i done a song right what's it called what's it at? yeah i make a lot of beats though just a preview so I'll let you guys enjoy this as I
enjoy. This is what I'm fucking with, my nigga. You niggas ain't making beats like this. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Try to show what's really going on up in this motherfucker. When I tell niggas I'm the next to blow watch, and I'ma bring all you niggas with me, cause you always show me love. Joba Job, holla. Follow me on Twitter, uh, Joba Job. Follow me on Facebook, Joba Job. Follow me on Real Life. Uh, I ain't got no friends. <laughs> now I'm playing. Mm. Let's go. <laughs>